rice seed to seed rice is the most widely consumed staple food for a large part of the world's human population especially in asia it is the grain with the second highest worldwide production rice is normally grown as an annual plant in tropical areas rice cultivation includes preparing the field land nursery raising transplanting weeding irrigation harvesting the first thing of rice cultivation is nursery raising the rice nursery is raised by the well prepared nursery bed the nursery bed should be of 1 to 1.5 meter width and of convenient length in between the two nursery beds spacing of 40 to 50 cm should be provided to facilitate easy moving of sowing is other machinery practices in transplanting 500 square meter of nursery bed for 1 hectare of field the seed requirement for sowing process of nursery bed is 40 to 50 kg per hectare for bold grain varieties and 30 to 35 kg per hectare for fine grain varieties the seeds sown under nursery beds will germinating in tilt stage and the seedlings become ready for transplanting about 20 to 25 days after sowing the seedling is constructed to be various of transplanting and dedicated to be 4 to 5 leaf stage with a height of around 15 to 20 cm preparation of the main field is important in rice cultivation first requires at thorough ploughing and followed by flooding and followed by puddling 2 to 3 week before transplanting in applied bottling different types of pullocks manual or tractors can be used this purpose bottling helps to create beneficial physical chemical and biological conditions for crop growth of the rice plant and subsequently eliminates the growth weed main process of rice cultivation is transplanting seedlings in the nursery bed they can be taken up optimum space this is 3 to 4 weeks for short duration and 4 to 5 weeks for long duration after pick up the seedlings in the nursery bed followed by transplanting process occurred in main field in general 2 to 3 seedlings are transplanted per hill with a spacing of 20 by 10 cm under normal conditions however this spacing according to the varieties and cultivation methods followed the problem of weeds are transplanting field much more less in comparison to broadcasting one in general weeding is practiced twice during a cropping season one at about 20 to 25 days after transplanting is said to be first for the top dressing and another at about 50 to 60 days after transplanting is said to be second for the top dressing the water requirement of rice is higher than that any other crops of similar duration water still allowed to be stain in the field and then depth 2 to 5 cm until transplanted seedlings are well established hereafter about 5 cm of water should be maintained up to the town stage it should be drained out 7 to 15 days before harvesting organic manure and chemical fertilizers are both important for rice cultivation 10 to 15 tons of well rotten farmyard manure per hectare should be applied for 4 to 5 days before sowing and the fertilizers of full dose of potassium phosphorus along with the half of nitrogen are applied before the last bottling 
the remaining half of nitrogen is should be applied in two equal doses. First is tillering stage. There is 20 to 30 days after transplanting. And the second spanical initiation stage. This will be 55 to 65 days after transplanting. Reproductive stage of the plant starting from panicle initiation stage up to flowering almost for last 30 days. The reproductive stage followed by maturity stage. This was almost for last 30 days. In this stage, the milking crane seed and maturity crane seeds are occurred. Finally, harvesting. Right time for harvesting is 80% of the panicles with 80% of ripened spikelets. Upper portion of the spikelet should be straw color. At this stage, grain will be contain 20% of the moisture. The next process is cut the plant near the ground and this should be collected and bundled it. And it taken up threshing.